So till now we have seen the examples of DFAs. Now let us look what is an NFA. This is a basic difference between DFA and NFA. NFA is generally called as non-deterministic uh, finite automata and DFA is called as deterministic finite automata. In the beginning I told you there are uh, two types of finite automata. Again I am repeating. So there are two types of finite automata. Finite automata. Number one is the finite automata. Finite automata with output. And second one is the finite automata without output. Without output. So the finite auto automata with output is of two types. Number one is a melee machine and second one is the Murray machine. And the finite automata with output is of three types, deterministic finite automata, non-deterministic finite automata and epsilon non-deterministic finite automata. Deterministic finite automata, non-deterministic finite automata and epsilon non-deterministic finite automata okay so uh, till now we have seen what is a deterministic finite automata now let us look at what is a non-deterministic finite automata automata so in the basic definition what is the difference between uh, dfa and nfa these finite automata both can be represented by the tuples q summation q naught delta and f in both the cases when we discuss about Q that means it is the non-empty set of states Q means it is non-empty set of states summation is non-empty set of input alphabet input alphabet Q naught is initial state Q0 is initial state, delta is transition function, delta is transition function and F is set of final states, set of final states that means you can have more than one final states and it can be an empty set. So when we discuss about DFA, in case of DFA this delta transition function is defined by q cross summations takes us to q states q cross summations takes us to q states when we discuss about nfa this delta transition function is defined by delta q cross summation takes us to 2 raised to power q states okay i told you what is this delta function Delta function is if you are at a particular state, for example, you are at state A, you see a symbol A, then you can go to a state, for example, B. That means only one single state. But here, this 2 raised to power Q is representing a power set, power set of Q, power set of Q. For example, if uh, assume we have uh, the state A and B. In any case, assume we have we are going to make like this uh, strings uh, which are oh, which strings over a comma b which are starting with a. Assume strings over a comma b which are starting with a. So in case of DFA, if the initial state is a, then strings are not starting with a. As soon as a string is starting with A, then we will go to the state B and we will accept it. It is very simple. And if you get a starting symbol as B, then we will go to the state C which is a trap state and here we will always be stuck. That means if you are at a particular state, here you can see Q cross summation takes us to Q states. That means how many states are there? A, B and C. Q is representing I choose a set of a comma b comma c and then summation there are two input alphabets which are a 
small a at small b. So when I am saying in case of DFA, it is Q cross summation takes us to Q states. That means if you have a set of states Q which are A, B and C, if you have a set of ultimate summation which are small a and small b and you have a, this Q which is A, B and C, that means we can do on A, if we see a symbol A, then we can go to state B on A, if we see a symbol A, then we go to the state B that is delta A comma small a give, takes us to B. On A, if we symbol B, then we go to the state C. That means delta A comma B takes us to the state C. In the same way, if we are at B, if we symbol A, then we go to the state B. So delta B comma A takes us to B. In the same way, delta B comma B takes us to B. If we have delta C comma A takes us to C delta c comma b takes us to c that means you are exactly and uniquely going to one single state in case of dfas when we discuss about nfa when we say we are studying nfa so here in this case we can make a very simple diagram of nfa which is if this is initial state a if we see a small a then we go to the state b and we accept everything i'm not giving any transition for c I can give the transition uh, for the dead state, but it is not actually necessary. Uh, let me define it. See how many states are there? A, B, C are there. So in case of NFA, NFA is defined like this. Delta Q cross summation takes us to 2 raised to power Q states. Q cross summation takes us to 2 raised to power Q states. That means if we say uh, this is a state states Q which is a B and C if you have a B and C These are the input alphabets which are small a and small b Then these are the states which are Phi C power set of a B and C. These are three states. What is the power set of this set power set will be containing five single elements two elements and three elements so this power set of this will be Phi it will be containing single A, it will be containing single B, it will be containing single C, it will be containing A comma B, it will be containing A comma C, it will be containing B comma C, it will be containing A comma B comma C. That means if the number of elements are 3, then the power set of this will be containing 8 elements which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means if we are at state A, after seeing the symbol A, I can go to the Phi state A, B or C or any any of the two more than one states. Phi means we are not going to any states. We are not giving any transition. If we are at state A, if we are symbol A, here we are going to the state B. But if we are at state A, if we see a symbol B, then I am going to state which is Phi. In some cases, you can see we are going to more than one states. In case of NFAs, it is possible that uh, after seeing a single symbol, we are going to more than one states. That is why NFAs are called as non-deterministic. Non-determinism means after seeing one single symbol, either you are going to more than one states, or after seeing one symbol, sing, uh, one single symbol, we are not going to any states. So that is the non-determinism in case of non-deterministic finite automata. So by the definition you can see this is a power set. This is a power set that means you can go to one state, you can go to two states, you can go to zero states and so on. And if we discuss about the relationship between DFA and NFA, then this is the set which is representing DFA and this is a set which is representing NFA, NFA or NDFA. Now it does not mean that NFA is more powerful than DFA, it says that every DFA is NFA but every NFA may not be a DFA, but every NFA may not be a DFA. For example, you take this example, now this is an example of NFA which is not a DFA, but here in this case, this is a DFA which is also an NFA. So every DFA is a NFA, but every NFA is not a DFA, 
okay every non deterministic finite automata is not a deterministic finite automata so this is a small difference between nfa and dfa and this difference creates a huge impact but after this after seeing this can you say which one is, uh, is more powerful can you say nfa is more powerful than dfa or can you say dfa is more powerful than nfa so we'll see in a little while first of all let me give you some uh, basic simple examples of nfas or ndfa and then we'll see what uh, how can you convert an nfa to dfa how can you convert a dfa to nfa so that we can prove that both nfas and dfa are equivalent in power okay when i'm saying equivalent in power power means that can you give a string can you give a string which is accepted by nfa but cannot be accepted by dfa right so if you can give a single string which is accepted by nfa but cannot give an equivalent dfa that means nfa is more powerful but if you can never give a string which is uh, accepted by nfa but not dfa then nfa and dfa are equivalent in power we'll see that in later point of time so right now let us take few more examples of nfas